Shake that shit up off for you, man. Come to the house of games, man. Make a life change. I'm mean, gonna I used to be fat, man. Hated being fat, man. Before I get in the shower, man, I let the steam get the get the mirrors nice and foggy, so I don't gotta see myself naked, man. I know somebody out there can relate to me. I know somebody out there can relate to that, man. Don't live. That's no way to live, man. No way to live. One thing you guys gotta keep in mind is today is actually my rest day. I'm supposed to be home, playing a little video games, relax, reflect on my life, but I didn't want them to have all the fun of my shit. I want to have the fun too. So I'm a train too, but I'm keeping it light, two plates and everything. Just get a good pump. Have a good time, man. This is much better than staying home doing nothing. So here we go. So I gave, I gave in the peer pressure. Yeah, I gave in the peer pressure. <laughs> All right, homies and homets. First and foremost, I wrote the full workout at the very bottom of the description for the ones that happen to give a fuck. Honestly, doing this commentary shit feels very weird to me. I haven't done a commentary workout, man, in, a, in at least two months. But I'm trying to get back to my roots, and I'm trying to get back to recording more often, man. So, like I told you earlier in this video, it was my rest day, and I didn't want to affect my recovery too much by going too heavy. So what I did was kept the weight uh, relatively light, you know, just moderate weight that felt challenging for eight to 12 reps. Didn't want to overdo it. Started the workout with some barbell incline press to get started off. And then we went into dumbbell press to work each arm independently to minimize weak points. You know, I'm getting, I'm pretty much cutting, pretty much. And you know, I like to hit the muscles from angles, really ensure that I hit as many fibers as possible. So I did barbell bench to maintain mass. Then I went ahead and hit dumbbells to really bring the arms inward, work them independently, squeeze the inside of my pecs, and I finished off with the flies. Let's go, baby. Let's 
five bad bitches, man. Five bad bitches. Five bad bitches. Five bad bitches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there, man. That's a real <laughs> That's a real Hold on. Hold on. Hey, what's Calvin do? That's a real way. What's the real way? So as y'all see, man, we got ourselves a chest day party. I am so glad I did not stay home, man, because I had a pretty damn good workout. Even though I kept it pretty light, I had a damn good workout, very intense. The rest periods were pretty short. I kept everything 60 seconds to 90 seconds, kept the pump alive. Great workout. And it's right here, the superset for the lower pec area. We're doing one arm at a time to really engage the pecs on the inner portion. Really get those inner chest fibers fired up, man. I explained this in one of my vlogs recently, all right? So one arm at a time, pec flies, and we're supersetting it with body weight dips. Like I told you earlier, I'm keeping it light. I typically do weighted dips. So if it was a scheduled day for me to train, I would have did weighted dips for like one or two plates, all right? And this right here is another superset. We're supersetting rear delt because it's chest and delts day. We're supersetting rear delt flies with some cable crossovers. And notice I'm crossing my hands over. I'm crossing my hands over to even engage the inner pec some more. Really firing up those fibers, man. People think the muscles are just one big slab of muscle. Each muscle group is comprised of fibers. And if you want that full development, you need to try to engage some angles in your training. So that's what I'm doing, just engaging some angles. Like I just did dips, I did flies, you know. Just mixing up a little bit to engage as many pec fibers as possible. As you see, TJ, this right here, you've probably seen this many times. You know, some close presses at the end of your chest workout to really get those inner pec fibers fired up. There's so many ways you can engage your muscles, man. So this right here is another one of my favorite exercises to do for real delts. These are real delt rows for the hoes. And I will be doing a tutorial for this. Give me about two or three more weeks. I should be a little leaner and I'm gonna start really hitting y'all upside the motherfucking head with these tutorials, man. You're probably gonna get tired of them. Because I got my own gym now, I really want to uh, promote myself a little more as a coach. Probably even start doing more one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know. Just really hit them upside the motherfucking head. So be looking out for some tutorials very soon, all right? This right here is Arnold Presses. After we finish with our chest, we went ahead and went into Arnold Presses, all right? Real good way to hit all three heads of the shoulders, but you cannot use sloppy form with this or you will fuck yourself up on the way down. This right here is an other exercise I'm gonna be sharing with you on a tutorial very soon. Standing presses with cables. And let me tell you, you feel every bit of that shit. Con talk about constant tension. This right here keeps your shoulders fired up throughout the whole range of motion. You will absolutely love it. But you have to have this piece of equipment in your gym to enjoy it, all right? And this right here is a superset. Superset's a real good way to get a fuckload of volume in your muscles in a short amount of time. All right, this right here we superseted cable front raises with some side raises using the dumbbells. This right here had our shoulders on fire. Keep in mind, our delts were already exhausted from all the chest pressing and the shoulder pressing. So this right here just had us very spent, but this is what makes you great when you're exhausted mentally and physically, but you still push through. That's what separates the average motherfuckers from the motherfucking go-getters. It's large. Yeah, shit. Guys, if you're watching this video, that means go get you one right now, man. Pull over pitted hoodies are in stock right now. Anyway, guys, we're about to rack up all these fucking weights. Show them the weights on the ground and shit, man. We over here killed it, man. About to rack up these weights, it's getting late. We're gonna enjoy the video. I'll be reading the comments. Y'all wanted that commentary. Well, there it is, I gave you some commentary. I'm gonna mix it up. Some days I do some raw workouts. And some days I give you commentary, explaining my split, explaining my routine. You know, full work out of the description, all that type of shit, all right? <clears throat> Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Buy 30 of them bitches.
and holla back at your boy.